with Knox and Ross Law Group for investigation and review of CPRA cases 07 0538, 13 1062, and 16 0147. happy to take your questions all right um, I, I think we will listen to the speakers and then we'll have questions if that's all right thank you as I call your name please approach the podium in any order and state your name for the record John Bay and Ali Bay good evening uh, committee members, my name is Ali Salim Bey, and <clears throat> on July 13, 2007, I filed the Citizens Police Complaint, a Citizens Police Review Board complaint about the Oakland Police Department's handling of a homicide and the evidence in that homicide of a family member of mine named Wajid Bey, CEO of Your Black Muslim Bakery. In addition, on that complaint was the attempted murder of my brother, John Muhammad Bey, by four gunmen. Uh, in an ambush attack at 6.30 in the morning. That, attack, that ambush by four gunmen was closed by the Oakland Police Department in two months. There was four weapons, all kind of uh, ammunition around there, and they closed it in two months. I don't know if the lady from the lab can process the amount of evidence that it would take in two months. From that Citizens Police Review Board, an IAD report was opened. IAD 07-0538. It was opened four days before Chauncey Bailey received his story, and it was closed 29 days after Chauncey Bailey was murdered. That IAD 07-0538 doesn't show up in any investigation to date. Not the State Department, the State uh, DOJ, not Oakland Police Department's IAD, not the DAs, not in the murder uh, trial of Chauncey Bailey's uh, uh, assailants. I demand an independent investigation of IAD 07-0538 and the handling of these homicide investigations with my family. We believe that there is a different uh, bar in which Oakland Police Department investigates the murder of black people in Oakland, California and especially black Muslims in Oakland, California. 07-0538, independent investigation, please. Thank you. Next speaker. Good evening. My name is John Muhammad Bay. I don't have a criminal record. I'm not on a temporary release from jail. I have no warrants and no felonious strikes. I'm here tonight to talk about the corrupt uh, Oakland Police Chain of Command under former Chief Tucker and current Chief Jordan as it relates to the murder of our brother Wajid Bey. Chief Jordan has been a member of the Chain of Command for many years and through those years he has played a part in numerous poor decisions that have led to the city to settle numerous multi-million dollar lawsuits. Judy Barry and Earth First, the rioters, the Port anti-war protests, the officers who were killed in East Oakland, Occupy, Chauncey Bailey, as well as your Black Muslim Bakery. As Salim said, on 7-13-07, he filed the report with the CPRB. And when we did our own follow-up investigation in 2011, we returned to CPRB. They had no evidence that he was ever there. Had we not kept our copy of the file, we, they would have never admitted to us ever going there, which led to that IA report, which is 07-0538. The public needs to know what was done in that case. Judge Henderson needs to know what was done in that case. Our detailed report that we refiled in 2011, in this one we haven't heard back from IA. The first one that they said didn't exist, we heard back from IA within uh, two months. This time we have not heard back from IA within, it's been over six months. In 2002, we know Chief Word uh, brought in the FBI using JTTF funds in order to subvert, discredit, and destroy your black Muslim bakery. In 2004, after the still unsolved murder of Wajid Bey, OPD and FBI continued to foment what they thought would have been a violent end to the bakery. OPD acknowledged in their intelligence that it told them that the murder of Wajid was related to the takeover of corporate and certain family assets. 
In 2005, OPD's intelligence told them that my shooting was related to the same, yet they closed the case two months later. When I went to look up my police report in 2011, I was told by the supervisor of records that my file was lost or Sir, misfiled. Your time has elapsed. We need uh, you all to look into case 070538, and you'll find out what's really going on. Thank you. So, so just to, to let you know, we, we don't usually kind of have a, a back and forth dialogue with speakers, but um, I, I will ask uh, Mr. Sanchez, who's here on behalf of the city administrator, to look into that. And yes, ma'am, I, I took down yeah. the case number, and I, I work on the same floor as CPRB, so I'll also inquire about that. Uh, I will give you my card when we finish. And, and then you can call or email him. Okay. All right. And I'd like to hear back as well, and possibly a closed session report, depending if that turns out to, to be appropriate. So I'd like to also ask the, the city attorney to look at the, um, I mean, there's been a bunch of issues raised, both by members of the public and our constituents and the press, uh, about the, the variety of issues around um, not only Chauncey Bailey, but the prior uh, Bay family shootings. And so if, if possible, it might be worthwhile to get that as a closed session report, but I'll let I'll let you two talk to each other, figure out what's the right way to let us know about that. Okay, I'll coordinate with Arturo. 